almost 10 years ago? Yeah, you know, the game's, the game's not very... It's not a very fun game if you're not having a good time doing it. So I just try to continue to, you know, it's a child game and definitely something I loved as a kid and just want to continue to have that mentality out here. What are your expectations heading into this year? Um, you know, the expectation is to come out to practice and, and practice hard. I mean, we don't we don't want to think about what's coming on the pipe. I mean, not far down the road. We're just trying to think about one day at a time. And, you know, everybody else can have the expectations. You know, we need to be out here just, you know, doing our thing on the practice field. What do you got to do to hold off all these young guys? Uh, I don't. I don't think I have to do anything especially unique. I mean, just come out here and play good football. I mean, I left off last season um, playing good and felt great. My health hasn't changed. Um, you know, I'm a few months older. That's about the only thing that's changed. So, uh, just come out here and just be myself. What have you seen about this group at home? It seems like every year since then, we've been here. You guys brought in a couple of young linebackers. Yeah, that's I mean that's the NFL. I mean you're gonna you know every year I've been in the NFL you're gonna bring in a talented group of guys that come out of college, uh, free agents that come from other places. Um, obviously you know bringing Emmanuel this year is huge for us and, and the things he can bring to us is gonna help us win. So it's less about you know the competition within the group within the group and more about what can we do to provide wins on Sunday. Do you find yourself having to provide some teaching role to some of these guys that are in that position? You know they're they're pretty good on their own to be honest with you, but if they if they ask, I'd certainly willing to give them some some. Uh, um, some help, but you know these guys are you know they're good kids. They're smart. They study hard. Uh, they know what to do, and, and uh, certainly they have the instincts to go out there and play ball well. So uh, that's what got them here. So I mean, uh, yes, in some ways, yes, but for the most part, <clears throat> they're, they're they pretty well how it handled. Perfect cap for your career would obviously be the Super Bowl. Yeah. Let's talk, let's talk about how you want to enjoy Yeah, I think everybody that'd be everybody's number one goal, obviously, in our business. But I think uh, for me, it's it's just trying to enjoy every day, every every process to go through, knowing that. My 11th season, I'm hoping I can talk myself into being done. That's that's the plan. So, uh, you know, it's just been uh, such a blessing to be a part of this thing for so long. And, and uh, you know, I think so. The biggest thing for me, no matter how this thing ends, is about just enjoying this process right now. And, and uh, you know, it's, it's it's easy to come to training camp now, um, just because for so many different reasons. But knowing that uh, for nostalgia purposes, it could be the last. You know, it, it makes it easy to enjoy it. Enjoy working with the young guys and talk about that. Yeah. He is a mentor. Yeah, you know, I, I've been through so many different things. I've been obviously in the league for so long. Um, life experience is really probably the biggest thing you get asked is just about life experiences, uh, help with different things, and trying to, um, you know, give those guys, you know, the career that I've had, mm -hmm. put those guys, help those guys, you know, kind of put themselves in position to have success. So a lot of things go into that. But um, like I said, they're all great kids, and, and they're all doing the right things. Is this defense as good as you've seen it in the years you've been here? Uh, we're very talented. You know, it doesn't give you any wins, obviously. We have a lot of things we can certainly improve on, and, and I think we're trying to focus on those at this camp, um, you know, starting with this practice today, this afternoon. And I think that uh, I think we're capable if, if we continue to have the mindset that, we, that we've had to get us here. So technically speaking, fall short of the Super Bowl, is this for sure your last year? Uh, I don't know. I'm taking it. I'm just taking it today. You know, I, I don't know if that answers that question. That's the plan, but... Um, I just want to come out and just focus on today, get practice in, and, and go from there. Read the hype. You listen to all the hype out there. Thankfully, I'm busy enough in my personal life. I don't have too much time to listen to that stuff. Uh, but I know a lot of guys do. I've been a part of those situations in past seasons. Um, and clearly, you know, there's, it's a good thing to have hype around your team. That's a good, positive thing. But uh, just are we able to handle it is the biggest thing. Can we out here and focus? Can we come out here and focus on the things we have to do and, and then take it to Sunday. You know, when, when the games get here. You spent the last month.